Hello, cadre. On another special edition of your stage shave world. Now, <clears throat> got a little bit of a, I was going to say unboxing. I got no boxes. I got three stuffed envelopes, two of which I know what are in them. Third one I don't. We'll find out all together. Um, and again, with my patented, no research uh, written down whatsoever. Um, because uh, the first one we got is from CBL Soaps. You can see this is a beefy one. Uh, <clears throat> CBL's got a beefy package, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I said I didn't do any research because I didn't remind myself what the scents are supposed to be. So I can't tell you this is what this one is. I know some are obvious, but um, I think some might not be. So. Oh, this one I think. Let's open here. All right. So, this is six tubs worth of soap. Alright, so we'll check this out. Pull out the first one. Fresh lime, rich, creamy lather. I like, I like citrus a lot, so I was looking forward to this one. Oh, now, let me tell you caveat here i made the mistake i just got done shaving showering all that stuff spritzed on some pretty power potent scent on myself so i got i got that mixed in my arms here so that was not thinking ahead uh, to doing this but i can't i can get some nice lime out of here kind of all um i know this was a i think a question that he had on our forums about what do we think about the packaging and um you know so here's a little bit of soap in a big tub i think we're all in favor of getting smaller amounts of soap um mostly because well maybe not all most of us because we collect a lot of soaps and so we feel bad buying like a tub full of this stuff knowing that you know five years from now there'll probably still be some left sitting there so smaller amounts lets you have the variety um and have some some hope of using it up. Mm, but I'm looking forward to using that one. I get lime with a little pepperiness, but that's from what I'm wearing. So I cannot truly evaluate all these. Ooh, Agarwood Mineral. I love his um the, his Oud Mineral. This is very, very similar. So I'm trying to remember. I think he actually said that this is the same darn thing, same scent. Um, except it's in his new, um, the harder, so the tonsorial base, that's the harder base. So the other, um, soaps are almost like creams or cropes are super, super soft. Mm, but I do love that scent. I always pair that with a uh, Tom Ford Oud Mineral. Mm -hmm. Harvest Oud, this has been out for quite a while. You can see the old labels. This is the old formula, I believe. Um. There you go. This is right there. Made with real Guinness Stout. Um, and Hop Crazy IPA. Uh, so he's got a uh, roasted oatmeal stout that uses an anniversary version of Guinness. Um, and I was a little hesitant to get that because I don't like the smell of hops or beer. And it's not in there at all. It just adds a nice, mellow, warm note. Mmm. And same with this one. I believe that this is his response to he could only make so much of the roasted oatmeal stout um, because it was using that special um, beer that he was in limited supply. So I'd have to smell them next to each other. This one's pretty close to the smell of that one. So I could be wrong, but I think he started making this because he couldn't make any more of the other so far three for three all winners we've got them we are crammed oh the three on the top and four on the bottom holy cow all right watch out just gonna cut this through the open i got this knife this was the second knife i picked out of the um pass around the pass around box from the shaving cadre don't think i've had a knife this sharp in forever i don't I'm not a knife guy but i'm getting old i'm gonna start reading all that um everyday carry stuff i'm not 
gonna get loaded down, but I thought, you know, instead of hunting out scissors and stuff when you need to cut things open and things, I have a knife on me. Apparently. Barber's chair. Now, see, this is one I don't remember uh, what it smells like. Um, not that I'd ever ask for anything else. I would just say if you're ever working on changing the uh, labels, that I think it's cool when they put some of the main scent notes on the label for old guys like me that can't remember. Um, and I'm curious because normally barber shop scents I don't like because they're super powdery and I don't like that. But something I'd read about this, uh oh, here I thought that uh, there's some tape or something on here, but I got a cracked crack plastic but that's okay I don't put water in these I scoop everything out yeah but again this one is a lighter scent so it's really tough for me to get a handle on given what I'm wearing um, not the baby powder but a little bit lighter so that one we'll have to actually evaluate later on smoky mountain cedar oh Looking forward to this one. I love wood. I love smoke. This one too. It's hard to get a handle on. It's lighter than I thought it would be. I know some of his actually mentioned that they were lighter scents. Uh, this could have been a one of them. Um, but just because of the notes, I thought I'd give it a whirl. It is lighter. It's not one of those wood... One's just going to smack you in the face. Oh, balsamic oud. You put oud on anything, we got to buy it. Interesting. I'm getting a similarity between this and the... What did we call that first one? The agarwood agar mineral. Because in theory, they're both ouds, right? It's, it's almost like, um, and I'm using these terms interchangeably because they're all very similar, but kind of like the Oud Mineral um, without the aquatic note. All right. Again, I'm, I'm probably spending more time on it than I should because um, I can't get a, a clean, clean sniffer off of them. Last one, uh, Bergamot Lemon. Anything with lemon. Hmm. All right, so out of a seven, I'm thinking this is the one that might be surprising me the most because lemon, even little bits of it, tend, I would think would cut through most scents. And I'm really not picking up much lemon. So it's there, it's there. You gotta breathe in pretty deep. And um, I had him custom make me some lemon, just like I said, knock it out of the park in terms of the um, scent strength. He did that. Uh, issue is, is that um, there's so much, I don't know if it's essential oils or um, technically what's in there, but there is so much of it that if it's on my face for too long, it starts to tingle. Um, but I love the scent of it. I mean, it's lemon, lemon, it's not, it's not sweet lemon, it's not lemon peel, it's not uh, lemon leaves, it is lemon juice, just pure powerful. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it's kind of buried in there. So I'm curious about this, this dude, um, what that's going to be like uh, lathered up. So the next one, this one's cool. This is from Malaysia, not soap related. Um, this is the second one, but I know what it is. Try to kind of gently cut this open so I don't end up in the ED. You know, um, I keep wondering about that, that I learned long ago, being in the medical field, that when you refer to the ED, it should be the ED, meaning emergency department, versus ER, means emergency room. So you're not just going to one room, you're going to the department. And they like you to not forget that it's not just a room, that they are like a whole department unto themselves. So, 
Fun fact, proper terminology would be ED. All right, had the envelope bubble wrap box. We're getting there. Taped up pretty well. I appreciate all this, having to fly from Malaysia. The trip took quite a while through a few countries. Just cut up here. We'll open that up. Box, box. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's like you're bought a, bought a little present for yourself. Got this little bow on here with elastic. That's cute. And then uh, a little flamingo paper. I'm not a paper saver. You guys do that? Um, <clears throat> I'm always curious. I see some people, I don't know if it's out of like over politeness at uh, birthdays or other holidays, Christmas, all that. They take it off nice and gentle and fold it up. And it's like, how many people really reuse that? I mean, you do hear that, oh, my grandma used to reuse it or who would. I've never known anybody that's personally reused wrapping paper. You just rip it off, recycle that stuff. So here we go. From, shipped from Malaysia, but the, the German company, online pen company open up the box here neat little cardboard box here's the pen i'll show you in a minute oh look i'm building suspense a couple little mini cartridges these just look like uh, international short short international cartridges pull this guy out take it out of the bag so we get a nice new look at this thing look at that cork the barrel is cork. As soon as I saw this thing, it, it was not crazy expensive, but you know, the, see back there, the wine, wine barrel top. This is a map of uh, Napa Valley where we mark all the wineries we've been to. So had to have this one. Plus it looks super cool. Only concern is about oils kind of changing uh, the color of this, darkening it up, but such is life. And I, I don't even remember the, Size of the nib I got. Oh, nice. Like 1.4 millimeter stub nib on that baby. Let me get it out of my face there. Anyway, when you're holding it down here, your fingers are going to be mostly on the, the grip, which is not cork. Um, the barrel will rest a little bit. You see the postable? Yeah. Nice. I like it. I like it. Should have a converter in here, I believe. Yep. It says online on the converter. So I'll have to play with that later. I thought I would like um, extra fine uh, nibs um, so that I could use them on not that great paper, but I've kind of changed um, how I do things at work um, and somewhat at home. So at work, I have a couple of notebooks um, that are good quality paper so I can use whatever pens I want in them. I've got a little pad of paper next to my computer for, you know, you just need to write down a phone number. You're on the phone talking to somebody, just jot down a number or something. <clears throat> That's good paper so I can use whatever I want. I bought a notepad for home, all that stuff. Um, and so now I'm shifting over from thin line where I write pretty small to using, um, I've got a couple stubs now and I like writing with them. It just looks cool. Um, and then especially when, if you have colors, um, like I used to, um, I use brown a lot at work or I like dark, dark reds, but with a fine nib, a lot of that stuff almost looks black. Um, it's hard to see the difference. Um, so getting a nice, thick, juicy line, uh, lets you see color better. Anyway, that's that. Been waiting for that for a long time. Excited about that. Our last one, this one here from Dave in Kentucky, from the Shaving Cadre. Um, this one, I have no idea what it is. Um, pretty, good, pretty good guy though, like that Dave, as you would expect from a Dave. Um, we have been, I guess, trading gifts a little bit. I sent him a soap um, and uh Aftershave set, I think. Now I don't even remember what I sent you, Dave. Um, it's at least a soap. And then uh, there's something else that is going to be coming his way um, as soon as I get around to packing it up and sending it there. So I think he 
kind of repaying the favor, and I don't know what this is. So envelope in an envelope. And crack this open. Oh, Dave. Are you kidding me? Wow. Now I don't... All right, so I'm curious. Now I'm not showing you what it is because I'm not quite sure exactly what to, to, say, <laughs> to say. Okay, so I'll, just, I'll show you. The first one is West Coast Shaving Campfire. Now I love smoky scents. Like, I think I've got three so Now I'm trying not to go overboard because when you have a lot of soaps, even though you love a certain one, like um, smoky, peppery, um, pine, those are my three biggies that I have many of. You don't want like 10 pine scented soaps because even when you're in the mood for a pine scented soap, maybe if you're really in the mood for two or three days, you use that, but then you want something different. And if you've got that many, you still got some winners that are just sitting around. This one I had a sample of, and I don't remember, Dave, if I got from you, somebody else. Um, it's a while ago. I really don't remember. Apologies. Um, but I loved it. I don't make it anymore. Oh, man. Uh, I even wrote the company and basically said, how many would I have to buy for you to make a run of this soap? Um, because I liked it so much. And I bet, you know, if they said something crazy like 100, I wouldn't have done it. 10, 15, I probably would have done that. I bet I could have gotten some other folks that would have split up the purchase with me. They just said, nope, not being made anymore. Um, so even on eBay, I've got a safe search that's supposed to notify me if this ever comes up, and it never has. Um, but That's what I was trying to look at. I guess it has been. There's a few bubbles on there. Um, so that's what I'm not sure is if this is Dave's actual puck. He never said anything about having a backup. So that's why I was a little bit speechless because he likes this stuff too. Um, I'm curious if he tracked down another one somewhere. Um, I'm kind of, kind of hoping that that was it, even though, I mean, that's awesome because I have not seen it and I'm dying for it. So thank you either way. And if this is, you know, I just say, I hope that's it because I wouldn't want him to give up his own. Um, cause I know he loves it too, but holy cow, dude. Um, oh man. Thank you. Thank you. That was cool. And I think this one could be him sending back what was somewhat of a joke oh yep so i had <laughs> he was like i don't want this piece of junk this is a q shave that is a f future knockoff cheapy um i had it with my name on if you could see it there david um i think i i think i mentioned it or used it um in a shave once i think i just mentioned it and he made some comment, like, what kind of guy would get a razor with his name on it? And I don't, I'm not going to use this thing anymore. So I sent it off to him, thinking, oh, Dad, you're it. But it didn't stick. That's because I didn't, I didn't, what is it? No tag backs, something like that. I didn't say that. Next time I need to say that. Anyway, very cool. Thank you, Dave. I'm at 19 minutes, and we didn't even shave. Um, I, bet, I, I guess I better wrap this thing up. I think it could have been a five-minute video, but anyway, lots of stuff to go through. Hope you're having a good weekend. See you on the forums.